Senior from Mina, Nigeria, Gideon George. So great. Good to see you. Thanks That's for so coming. Thank you. Good to have you. So good. <laughs> All right. Have a seat. Welcome back. We've done this before a few yeah. times. Great to have you. Uh, you are one of uh, three players from Africa on the BYU team. Mm -hmm. And Foose from Mali was here a couple weeks ago, and he said one of the things that he just really has a tough time dealing with is our, our winters in Utah. Uh, you've had winters in New Mexico, and you've had winters in Utah. Are you okay with it now, or do you still just not like it? Uh, I don't think I would be okay with it. <laughs> nah. Uh, nah. Nah, I have not. <laughs> You've not come to terms. Nah, it's the, it's the code to me. So. <laughs> you played Juco ball in New Mexico, uh, New Mexico Junior College. BYU's playing football at the New Mexico Bowl this weekend in Albuquerque. Albuquerque is one thing. Hobbs, New Mexico, where you went to school, is another thing. They're not close, are they? No. Hobbs and Albuquerque. Nah, it's like, it's far away. I don't know how many hours drive, but I think it's about a five-hour drive. Yeah, it's, it's far away. It's yeah, awesome. it's it's you're much you're almost as close to Dallas, Texas, as you are to Albuquerque. You're right on the border of Texas out there in Hobbs, New Mexico. Yes, yes. there yeah. is nothing close to Hobbs, New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing. You might as well be on the moon. Uh, there's nothing. I'm well, not take it back. You, you had, you had to have gone, home. right? You had to have gone down there. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I know. Three or four times. <laughs> and the thing is, G was struggling with an ankle injury at the time. So I would roll in. I would roll in to 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 try and recruit him, and you know, be so excited to watch him play. And G would roll. Like, ah, coach, I got an ankle. I'm not playing today. You're like, I gotta come back to Hobbs. <laughs> yeah, but no. it was worth every. It was worth every trip, man. Woo. That was a it. fun time. It was worth it. Yeah. So I remember a game, a BYU game that you came to on a visit. Was it the Gonzaga game? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. So yeah, I remember I, it was before the game, and for some reason, someone brought you to my attention and I was watching you on the baseline and it was the Gonzaga game wasn't it? that was a pretty yeah. special night yeah what are your was. memories of that night uh just like seeing the students storm in the court after the win I'm like whoa <laughs> that's that's really dope though I've never seen like a stadium like a soda arena before you know so that was like I was telling like my guy that I came with Brandon so I was like wow that was really special though like the way people like love their players and how the culture is out there so so coach Pope it was kind of good timing for a win over Gonzaga yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> with Gideon yes, it in was. the building uh, how would you describe your season so far BYU season so far this year um, I think we're heading on the right path you know like the coaching staff has really done done a great job, like preparing us and like making us believe in ourselves. And you know, we hit um, some diversity, and we just keep going the course and just do keep playing hard for each other and just believing and like believing in what Coach Pope and his coaching staff preaches all day. And so we're just trying to keep staying the course. Coach, seniors are so precious because they're leaders for you. What's Gideon's leadership style? Yeah, I had, I had one of the, I haven't told Gideon this yet. I've actually told the staff, but I had a great moment at the at a uh, shoot around at Creighton in Las Vegas. So every game day we have an hour long shoot around in the morning, the day of the game, to do our final preparation, install our final stuff, and kind of go over everything we practiced. And um, Gideon right now is the lone veteran presence on our entire roster that's active, right? And um, and so we're going through walkthrough, and G has taken it upon himself to be an incredible leader on this team. And we're going through the third action. We always go through three, kind of three actions that we worked on. And we'll kind of all kind of be paying attention to a couple principles in the action to make sure that our guys are seeing it and feeling about how we guard. And so I've kind of gone through my two, and the play's continuing, but I'm basically done, done with it. And I hear G's voice continue on demanding urgently mm -hmm that his teammates see the next part of the action. And I, I, like that moment will stick out in my mind forever because it just is what, that's what a, a winning senior is all about. And like when G first got here three years ago, he was still learning, like I can see G three years ago, I see that some of our new guys now, right? Yeah. But now he's got this urgency and this presence and he's, he's playing at such an elite level on both sides of the ball right now. And it's because of it. He's just really become a, a terrific leader and a, and a great basketball player. How big was that win in Las Vegas for this team on Saturday night? Um, it was really fun. I don't know if you can see a picture. I almost choked Coach Pope out. 
<laughs> but <laughs> I, I was so excited, you know. <laughs> Just we needed that one so bad, and we got the job done. So I'm really proud of the guys and everyone on on the staff. Too. You you guys celebrate pretty nicely on the floor. Like there's a, there's an on floor celebration, but your locker room celebrations are next level, aren't they? Oh, it is. You want to be in India. <laughs> yeah. it, it is next level. It's the best. You want to be in India for sure. <laughs> I bet you. Uh, nah, see, it's next level. No. I say it's next level. I say it's next level. Oh, that was, and Dallin Hall, the freshman comes, he's got two game winners now. Man. Dow, he's just playing as if he's a super senior on this team, you know, like the way he controls like the point. And sometimes you even ask yourself, I'll be like, is this man a, a freshman or is he just coming out uh, back from his mission? Or because like he just he's just so poised, like mm. he can like control the game and like keep calm of the game. I like what he's doing though, and I think he's heading on the, uh, he's heading on the right direction. I mentioned as you came in to the studio that you explored some options after your last season. What brought you back here and how are you happy you came back? Um, I'll tell you this, I fought with my brother a lot and <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that was a fun time during the summer though. <laughs> he really understand like, you know, um, I'll tell the story. When I, when I was being recruited at JUCO, Coach Pope had to fly to New Mexico like four times and he flew out to Pitt to come see me and my brother during Christmas. He was supposed to be celebrating Christmas with his family, but he decided to come see me and my brother at Pitt. So my brother is like, you ain't gonna find no one in like America, like a coach that is going to do that, mm -hmm. that, that is going to like, that they really care about you and that they really love you. So he's like, yeah, if I leave, like he ain't gonna lie to me. Like I'm not going to find that anywhere. Like, so I was like, uh, so there's a day I was just sitting at my house. So it hit me. I was like, I gotta call Coach Pope. Then I called him. I was like, yeah, I'm all in. So long story short, no, but there's some other pieces behind it, but long story short. Nice phone call to receive. Yeah, it was a really nice phone call to receive. Really nice. Mostly, not just because G is such a huge part of this team, but I just, I mean, you just, like, like, I love coming to work to get to coach these guys, and, like, G makes that a joy. Like, he, he makes it so fun. So it's super selfish in that sense, and not of just being about, like, I just like being around him. I like the, watching the impact he has. He's had such an incredible impact on – all the guys on the team, but especially Foose and Atiki, like you will never hear Foose talk about our team without talking about what an incredible leader Gideon is. Like I've heard him say that in the media 10 times now. And um, so I was, I was most grateful about that just so we get him for another year. All right, we'll take a break. Still on the way, Gideon and another of our special guests will play the nearly wed game. When BYU basketball, There's Mark pressure. Polk continues. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever feel small? Three, two, one, go! Have regrets? I guess we all have them. And trust, that's tough to earn or regain. Glad we're doing this. Tim Daly Ford in Spanish Fork sells Ford vehicles, including the F-150, the pickup designed for work and play. Tim Daly Ford maintains a large inventory, providing more choices for selecting an F-150 with the power and engineering to carry and tow heavy loads. The F-150's design offers comfort, safety, and a range of options to choose from. Think Ford. Think Tim Daly Ford in Spanish Fork. Football in Utah is all about the rivalries. Red. Ooh. Quarterback. Wide out. Rewards. Wait, what? My style. Checking rewards. My style. Right. For Mountain America's My Style Checking, it's all about the benefits. Loan discounts. But it's hard to pick a favorite. No. Mobile phone protection. Telehealth. You're going to need that when we're done. I heard that. Let's go. Get the account rivaled by no one. My Style Checking from Mountain America. 
This is where we dominate. Our playground, place of business. This is our promised land, where we seek to find ourselves. And we're here to make sure the spaces our best prove themselves on appear how they should. Intermountain Healthcare, official medical provider for BYU Athletics. This is BYU Basketball with Mark Pope, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. Seating change. Uh, to we, we, we should do it like a, we could do a talk show. We, couldn't we? <laughs> just put us at the desk together instead of, course, of you know. it all starts with the name. We've got to have a good name, a name that really just yeah, kind of rolls yeah. off the tongue. It really pops. Um, today's the 13th of December. Yeah. And uh, Light the World's going strong with you guys. Light the World. Brilliant. Let's go. Uh, Light important. the World uh, campaign. Your guys are big. On, you're all over it on, on social media. We see that uh, every day is supposed to be a day of service. How great is our social loving. media crew? Fantastic. Like, that's our, is that like the perfect, capture the perfect it's moment? Beautiful graphic. Yeah. Uh, and we can all. Uh, light the world this week with the second year of the uh, George Helping Hands Foundation shoe drive. Gideon and others presenting this graph. And this next uh, graphic is, I think, did Hema make this next one? Did we're saying? The sh the, oh, the shoe, the shoe drive graphic. Uh, I don't see it yet, but we do have it up. Uh, we've got games this Thursday and this Saturday. Yep. Here we go. Um, you can bring new and gently used shoes to the Marriott Center. They'll have collection points at uh, the four corner entrances. They'll also have a uh, collection spot at the annex that will be open until Sunday as well. It's unattended. So uh, that's all going on this week. So another way to help light the world with the courtesy of Gideon George and the George Helping Hands Foundation. And, and Gideon, you've got, well, we're going to uh, bring in Gideon yeah. and a special guest here in a quick second. Um, <laughs> we should, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. Do it. Let's, let's please welcome Jess Perry to the program. So... Uh, <laughs> First of all, uh, Gideon, uh, your shirt, you've got a little logo there. Yep. George Helping Hands Foundation. George Helping Hands. And, uh, and the, uh, the shoe drive started actually this past week, right, because the women's game had a collection point. Things are going strong? Yeah, things are, like, going so awesome. And I would like to give a shout-out to Freedom Prep Academy. They, they did the shoe drive over there, and we had um, 1,200 shoes from them. So that was, like, really big time. And... Um, a kid and his dad just donated 137 pairs of shoes yesterday, so mm -hmm. it's like really going big and I'm really super grateful and I'm so glad for like all their support and help. They're making the world a better place. These are some of the 6,000 pairs of shoes that BYU fans donated last year. And we're hoping to even get as high as 10,000 uh, this year in year number two. So congratulations to you and the folks you're working with in getting this done. And hopefully BYU fans will bring shoes to the games this Thursday and Saturday. So Jess is here as your fiance. Yes. She congratulations is. to you. <laughs> You want to tell uh, Jess the, the engagement story? Oh, yeah. sure. Would love to. So, um, Gideon, we always go on a Sunday drive every single Sunday. And this Sunday, he said we had to push back our drive. I'm like, why can we not go right now? And he just keeps making excuses. No, we need to go. And then all of a sudden, he's like, we need to go right now. We need to go on our drive right now. I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, you know what? You should, you should wear something nice on our Sunday drive. I'm like, okay, I'll wear something nice on our Sunday drive. <laughs> and so we go up there. Um, we're walking around. And, um, well, first we get, we usually park at the bottom of Vivian. I think it's Vivian Park. And um, that's usually where we do it in this time he drives past Vivian Park. I'm like, why don't we go back down to the spot that we always go to? He's like, no, this place will be good. I'm like, no, I don't want to go to this place. Let's go back down. I'm like ruining all of his plans. <laughs> and then um, we get up there and he's like, let's go for a walk. And then he gets down on one knee. A photographer pops out of nowhere. And then I turn around and all of our closest family and friends were there, which was so great. We had Bobby there who's in the coaching staff and we just love him so much. And he helped Gideon plan hold this whole thing. And we had some friends come in from out of town, so it was an awesome surprise. He did a great job. Good, good planning work, Gideon. No, <laughs> way to stick with it. Yeah, I, I gotta give all credit to my crew, though. That helped <laughs> make it possible for me, Bobby well, and LA yeah, and, and Fevin. Yes, uh, and Bobby, by the way, in the stands with us tonight. Um, Jess, uh, we're so glad you're here because we need you for our next segment. Yay! Uh, we are going to play <laughs> not the newlywed game, but the nearly wed game. Let's get to Ooh. it. <clears throat> There we go. <laughs> we spare no expense, Coach. That is impressive. Yeah. 
So, so this, it's a little touches. The music. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Uh, the Nearlywed game. You probably know the rules. I ask you a question about each of you or both of you. You write down the answer you think the other's going to answer, and then we see how we do in compatibility. Sound good? Here we go. Uh, question number one. What's Gideon's favorite movie? Gideon's favorite movie. Ooh. I hope you have a favorite movie. Gideon's favorite movie. And you write your answer down on the whiteboard, and then we'll reveal and uh, see how close we come here. <laughs> Does he even know? The fact that yeah. Gideon is struggling with this means Jeff's yeah. got no chance right now. Uh, Gideon's like, hmm, what movies do I like? I do know. I like movies? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think I got one. <laughs> Could it be a show? Do Could it be a show? show? Gideon's Let's favorite show. show. Uh, Let's go show. Oh, uh... Gideon, you can write anything at this point. <laughs> Technically, if you both leave a blank, that it will be correct. <laughs> yeah, good point. Okay, uh, what, what, Gideon, what did you say, by the way, if anything? Uh, Merlin. Shane, you didn't. You said what? Merlin. Oh. Merlin. And what did you say? The one with the Vikings. What's the one with the Vikings? Oh, uh. I forgot the name. Okay. <laughs> that's our, that's our warm-up question. Uh, now we start for real. Uh, what is Jess's favorite food? Ooh, easy peasy. Oh, there okay. We go. Wow. We go from go. like no coffee. Yeah, yeah, okay, got this. Okay. What do you say, Jess? What is it? Wings. And Gideon says? Pizza wings. Pizza okay. slash wings. That's, that's, a a win. that's a winner. <laughs> Pizza yeah. slash wings. Uh, number three. Uh, who's Gideon's favorite musician? Oh. Musician. Someone you like Jess to listen knows. to. Jess is already all over it. I hope this one's right. Okay, Gideon, show your board to that camera, I think. Show you once you've got your answer. What do we have? Bono Boy. Bono Boy. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That's a match. Uh, question number four. Coach, you want to read that one? Yes. What is Jess's ideal vacation destination? Ooh. Where would Jess want to go on vacation? Uh, She's already got her answer. Uh, Mena. <laughs> I, could, I could say that, though, but... <laughs> uh, I'm curious as to what he'll say. Okay, Jess, what'd you say? I said staycation. Oh, Ooh. staycation. Just chill at home. Nigeria and Vegas. Vegas? Nigeria and Vegas. Vegas is essentially a staycation. I loved going to the Vegas tournament last year, so that was well, a Well, a staycation guess. makes for a really cheap honeymoon. Um, yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> number five. If Gideon could meet any celebrity, who would it be? Ooh. Celebrity you'd want to meet. Oh. Oh, well, Okay. You're supposed to know this. What is it, Gideon? LeBron James. Oh, I Le said Jesus. Oh? Uh, he said celebrity, boy. That Jesus. 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 Hey, wait. The world. Jesus is the answer, <laughs> though, boy. Hey, hey, it's oh, Christmas. It's hey. <laughs> you might just be put on the naughty list that you chose LeBron well, he over. Got, he got interviewed by, no, I think it was the Jazz, yeah. that said if he can meet anybody dead or alive, he said, well, they made it specific, though. They were That's like, true. yeah, so. Okay. He's just a celebrity. Good answer. Okay. Uh, Coach, uh, number six. What is Jess's least favorite food? What does she not like to eat? Hmm. Hmm. This should have been a flipped question. He <laughs> is the pickiest eater. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't like. I'm trying, trying to think of food I made that she doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Gideon is a big time chef. Yeah. I was, was, was going to ask about that. that yeah, that, that might still be one of our questions. Okay, uh, she has something, Gideon. I don't think it's too much. Okay, Jess, what was your answer? I said nothing. I'll eat anything. She'll eat okay. anything. Yeah, and nice. you had Wait, to come up with something. You don't know, like Gary and Kulukuli, so. Like, oh, that's a good yeah, answer. I was it's like a Nigerian food, food like. so. A couple she Nigerian does, things? Yeah, she okay. doesn't like that one. Okay. Um, by the way, years ago, when Coach Rose was a coach, 
we would do game shows on the thing, and uh, one of our floor directors got, went to Arts and Crafts and made this thing up. It doesn't work, but it's my game show microphone. Oh. That is so, so fantastic. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, uh, question seven. Uh, what other sport would Gideon like to play professionally, oh. if not basketball? E. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, hey, Gideon, what did you say? Soccer. Said soccer? Soccer. There we go. <laughs> match, match. Good stuff. You've been watching the World Cup? Oh, yeah. Who are you rooting for right That's now? That's why I came in this yeah. way. Morocco. <laughs> exactly. yeah. okay. Morocco, France tomorrow. That's good. Uh, all right. Uh, question eight. If Jess won the lottery, what would she buy first? Hmm. Ooh. Jess wins the lottery. What's she buying? Uh... You see me, I'll just keep the money, but she, <laughs> I know she'll spend it on, uh... Jess, what'd you say? I said clothes or a car? Clothes or a car? Car, clothes. <laughs> car, clothes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, coach, uh, question, question nine. <laughs> okay, if Gideon were to cook dinner, what dish is his go-to? What is he gonna make? This one sounds easy. They both went right through <laughs> it. And Gideon, the correct answer here is? Rice and stew. 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 Right. Yeah. They're on a roll. And this is the last one. And uh, Gideon, the question is, where did you and Jess first meet? Where did you and Jess like, first meet? <laughs> like, you say what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is right, she Gideon. Is about this. <laughs> What's the answer, Gideon? I said IG. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> and they got on a serious roll at the end here, by the way. That was awesome. Way to go. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, Jess, thank you for coming. Thank you by the for way, having me. And playing with us. Uh, Gideon.